Hey guys, I've got some big ideas and some big plans for a rainwater harvesting system. I live out here on two acres of land and it almost feels like I need a rainwater management plan. Here in the Canadian prairies, we get torrential rains in the spring and hot, dry droughts conditions in the summer. I have hundreds of trees to protect from that standing water and I also need to keep them watered during the time of drought. When we do get the heavy rains for weeks on end, I can pump that excess water that builds up in my yard to my front ditch through my shallow well. I actually dug a shallow well by hand and you can catch up on that in a previous video. Now collecting rainwater for later use, that is a lot tougher, hence the purpose of this video to show you my plan. Now to collect water in all three of my 1250 gallon tanks, I have five options. I want to be able to fill these tanks in five different ways. The first way is through collecting water from my roof. There's a roof up above there that will collect water and that will come down here into this eaves trough and then down along here into the sweeping tile and into this tank. Secondly, I want to catch water from this half of my roof as well. The water on the upper part of the roof runs down to the lower part and then down to a downspout here. I want to collect it in a catch basin, have it flow underground and then get pumped into my tanks. Now the third method for water collection is using the groundwater from underneath my home. I have a sump pump outlet right here. There's no reason why I can't use the water that's collected underneath my home. The fourth method is from right here. I want to have the ability to pump the water that's collected in the shallow well to my collection tanks. Now my fifth and final collection source is going to be using city water and I don't mean using the water from the house. In fact, I'm not even connected to city water. I use a well and using a well to fill these tanks is definitely not an option. I'll use that water for watering vegetables around harvest time, but not for watering trees or watering grass. I actually have a bulk water collection station near my home where I can put this water tote in my truck, fill it up, bring it back and transfer it to my tanks. It does take a bit of time to do so. I could also purchase water and have it delivered directly to my tanks, which does get a bit expensive. These are options if I'm in a pinch, but I'd rather not use those if I didn't have to. So with all that said, I also want the ability to dispose of any water from my basement sump or if the three tanks are full. For this, I want an overflow where the water can leave this area and be taken away down to the sump pit behind my vegetable garden and then I can pump it to the front ditch and it can just run off. So that's the plan for collecting water and disposing of any overages. Now, what about using the water? Let's be honest, now the water that's gonna be sitting in these tanks isn't gonna be the cleanest. So I don't want to use it on my vegetables, like I said, around harvest time. The purpose of this would be to water my trees and to water my grass. Transporting the water through a trailer or pipes, that's still up in the air. But I do have a two inch gas powered pump and some sump pumps. Um, and I could just use some fire hoses for now to fill up my trailer to move the water around. Or I can just move the water hoses around and uh, water trees that are within a couple of hundred feet of the tanks. So hopefully an irrigation system is in the future, but we'll wait and see on that. All right, guys, so that's the short term plan. I'm even coming up with ideas for next summer. Really looking forward to getting going on these projects. This is my pastime and my passion working on these projects, working on the vegetable garden, on the rainwater harvesting system, and just looking after the yard in general. Now, I think I'm going to post the progress of my projects in the format as I vlog. It's a lot quicker to edit, and I don't need to wait for the projects to be 100% complete before I post them. This way, you're also going to see the other projects that I'm working on. The footage is going to be raw, real life, and you're going to get to see all the issues that I run into. Hope I didn't just jinx myself. Now, the purpose of me posting these videos is for your entertainment, and so I can keep a personal diary of the work that I do in the yard. Sometimes I'm very particular about the work, put a lot of detail into it, and a lot of planning. Sometimes I use a lot of duct tape and temporary solutions. In any case, please like and subscribe and follow along on this journey living out here in the acreage life. Up next, I got a project where I install electricity into my shed. I use conduit on the ground and I'm going to use that same trench for my rainwater harvesting system to pump water into my tanks and for the overflow. So make sure you jump into that video here next. Thanks for watching. And sometimes the airplanes fly over and ruin my shot.